for me, I immediately noticed the parallels as an adult that I didn't notice as a child. And in this particular version with the current struggles of some women, for example, with Shug, I related her to video vixens, internet vixens, and some of the things that they're judged by. And along down the line with Sophia and her strength and the pushback, and of course, Seely and the things. So I wanted to know from you, what did you connect your characters to in current culture that Black women are dealing with and going through? I connected it with what I was going through at the time and what I'm starting to see my 22 year, year old daughter go through. And um, a lot of our women, our younger women that we follow or see on the gram or that we meet um, crossing paths out here, um, you know, I, I, I just totally stepped into my, with myself and what I was dealing with that for me. Um, for me, Suge was the cookie of the 1920s. You know, she was bold. She lived her life unapologetically. She didn't care what you called her. Um, she lived her life bold out in the open and, um, you know, um, and that's why I don't like cancel culture. That's why I don't like throwing stones because we all live in, in glass houses and how you going to know the stove is hot if you don't touch it. You got to learn from your mistakes. You know, we're all human. This is a story about, uh, you know, about humanity. So, um, you know, people judged her, but she was the change maker. She was the one that came to town and allowed people to dream. Ho or no ho. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, same. Um, Sophia is definitely a woman of her t before her time as well mm -hmm. and i think of women who organized to start the me too movement mm -hmm. i think of stacy abrams mm -hmm. um even like michelle obama just women that are really ahead of their time and change makers and and so um yeah i think that's what she represents for this generation uh yeah i think you know for Celie. She was always observing and watching Sophia, you know, yeah. and I really believe that when Sophia had her turnaround moment and was um, feeling her soul diminishing, um, it was the uplifting of Celie coming and checking in on her every day and um, checking in on her children and, and t keeping her reminded of um, the people that she loved during those six years of her being in prison. And so I think that they both helped each other come into their uh, rebirth and become the women that they are by loving each other into that through um Showing each other their own power. Yeah. I couldn't have been what I was for Sophia in that prison scene without Sophia showing me how to be so. That's right. Mm -hmm. And it's so interesting. Sorry. No, go it's ahead. No, it's I It's so like interesting it. how Blitz um, uh, purposefully had, of course, Sophia saying hell no, but but put in there Seely singing hell no too when she after she comes and leaves Sophia in the yeah. jail mm -hmm. because that's the first in, uh, moment glimpse of Seely really coming into her power. Mm.